Konnichiwa! Yokoso Kurutu Shumi. Welcome back to Crazy Hobbies. Guys, we're super excited. We have the Japanese giants in the house, Kai Yosho, bringing you the finest radio control models since 1963. A trusted brand here at Crazy Hobbies. So, the RC Surfer from Kai Yosho, they've been manufacturing them since 1999 and only improving them with time. The new Surfer will be landing soon at Crazy Hobbies and they'll come in two colors, a blue and a black. It is a 1.5 scale. And the good thing is guys, everything's included in the box, including your battery and charger. So there is nothing else needed. So let's unwrap it, have a quick look at it and let's catch some waves and see how it performs. Let's unwrap. We've got the receiver right at the front here, which is wrapped in clear plastic. That will give you an antenna tube. And on one end, it's blocked. So don't unblock it. And what you'll have to do is, at the front, just poke it through, okay? And then you'll feed the antenna wire in there. Do not cut this wire, because it's very important, and try not to damage it. Let's have a look at the electronic speed controller. And here it is right here. It will come with a Dean's Connector standard. It's a 60 amp brushed ESC, and it is LiPo compatible. If you find the Nikmetal Hydride battery is just a little bit underpowered, you can run a 7.4 volt LiPo. That is maximum voltage on this ESC. If you do do that, guys, there's a little tab down here where it says NMH and LiPo. This tab here, if you run LiPo, you need to take it out there it is there, and you need to put it onto the left-hand side where it says LiPo. And then when you do do that, you'll make sure your LiPo cutoff is set and you won't drain your battery all the way down. So let's have a look at your motor. It's a brushed 540 size can, and it is water-cooled. So the battery compartment will be right at the back. You will get a 2200 milliamp, 7.2 volt. And what you wanna do is, you got some double-sided Velcro here. Just peel that back. And we found the best way to do it is just to line your battery up from the back and just push it down. Just lift it up, give it a push down so the double-sided tape sticks on the battery. Give it a push and then just peel it up. And there you have it. Once you put your battery back down, it will line up correctly with the bottom Velcro. So you'll always get that best contact. So let's just talk batteries for a sec. Like we told you, you will receive a 2200 milliamp 7.2 volt in the surfer, but it will only last you 10 minutes and it will be underpowered. If you want an upgrade, we have a couple of options for you. We'd recommend buying the Gens Ace 5000 milliamp 7.2 volt. You will get more power with this battery and this will last you roughly around 20 to 30 minutes playtime. You will have to change the plug over to a Dean's connector, the same that's on the actual surfer. You can also run a lithium polymer battery. Now, if you do want a LiPo battery, you will have to buy the bashing series, the 4000 milliamp 7.4 volt 50C. 
And these bad boys retail for roughly around $55. The reason why you have to get this battery is because it's a round battery. And if you have a look at the battery compartment, there is a curvature. So this battery will actually slot in snug and it'll fit perfect. Just quickly, you don't have to do this, any soldering on this battery. It will come for Dean's Connector Standard. But with the lithium polymer battery, guys, and the brush motors, if you did run the LiPo battery, it'll be heaps more powerful, but you will wear down the motor faster. Keep this in mind. And you will also need to buy a LiPo charger for the 7.4 volt battery and would recommend the EV Peak E3. It will charge 2S, 3S and 4S, only one at a time. It's a home charger and there's retail for about $59. Maintenance. There's a couple of things we'd recommend for you to do once you pack it away. It is water cooled and if you take it in salty water, you must flush the lines out. So you've got the inlet on this side and you've got the outlet on here. So it picks up the water from this side, brings it in and then spits it out. So when you finish playing with it, what you can do is spin it around, invest in some fuel tubing and just whack it over there. Go buy a syringe, pump it with fresh water, stick the syringe in here. It will pump the water through and then spit it out. Do it about three, four times to clean the lines out for salty water. If you haven't got a syringe, just get the hose, stick it in there and go for gold. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing, is what you have a flexi shaft, which is in here and it runs in here and that spins. What we'd recommend is, let's just zoom up. You'll have to buy a 1.5 mil Allen key and just line it up on the bottom hole. Be very careful when you're taking this out, hold the Allen key straight, just put a bit of pressure down on it and just slowly loosen it up. And what will happen is you'll have a grub screw that will come off. And there it is there, that's out. When you go to put this back in guys, there'll be a flat spot on the flexi shaft. So when you bring it out, that will just come out. Okay. We'd recommend washing this with fresh water and getting some marine grease as well and greasing it up and then pushing it back in. When you do push it back in, like I said, there'll be a flat spot. So just line it up, push it back in. And when you do tighten up the grub screw, just make sure it locks onto the flat spot or else they'll just keep spinning in there. So just tighten that back up. Don't over tighten it guys, just hand tight and then let go. Make sure you wash the actual surfer and the board with fresh water also. And remember to dry it off. All right, so you're a bit curious on how the surfer dude stays on the board. Good question. So in the middle of the board, you'll have these black tabs, which is screwed on from underneath. Take them off. They will give you rubber O-rings, which are included. And you'll also need a special tool, which is also included. So what you do, you'll grab the rubber O-ring. Now guys, this is a little bit tricky. So you've got to have a bit of patience for this. And you've got to feed it underneath, under here, and then up. Once you've got it over, the black piece, you'll have little tabs. You'll push the O-ring over the tab on one piece, and then you hold it there. The special tool, you'll grab the other, other side of the O-ring, you'll grab it with the hook, and then lift it over, and just sit it right in the middle. So it's got a tab there and a tab on the other side. It's stuck in. We prepared one earlier. We won't lie, it took us a while. <laughs> Once it's on there, it's on there. So there it is there. I don't know if you can see it. All right, and that's locked on. And then all you gotta do is, it's got a thread in the middle, lift up the lid again, just 
line it up with the holes and then screw in and then screw in. And then Surfer Dude is on there. Before you take the RC Surfer out, we, we need you to do a few things and it'll be worth your while. So regarding the RC Surfer Dude, it's, he's actually not one piece. Kaisho glued him together. He's got two joints on his legs, arms, and his head. Now, the glue that Kaisho used, it's not the best. And if it gets a bit choppy in the surf and he tumbles around, you will lose an arm and a leg. So, every Kaisho RC surfer purchased some crazy hobbies. We will include, free of charge, a Zap Goo. It's a multi-purpose glue. Part number PT12. And what we'd recommend doing, just at his joints here, all the way around, gluing them, both arms and both legs here, from his joints and just, just his head. So we actually glued this one, we took it out, tumbled it, crashed it, and nothing came apart. So if you don't glue it, you might lose an arm and a leg and you'll have to reorder the part. Before you take the RC Surfer out, would highly recommend getting some tape. We use clear tape. You can use duct tape, whatever. Just around the joints, sealing it up with some tape. Grab your tape and just seal it up. One on that side, one on that side, one here and one here. And that will fully seal the surfer and hardly any water will get inside. The last thing we need you to check before you take your RC surfer out, the reason why we're stressing on this point is because we have to do it on our one. So grab your surfer, the back of it, flip it around. All right, this black piece, what is it? It's your rudder and it's what makes the surfer steer. Now you can see on our one, it's pretty much straight. Now, if this piece is on an angle, when you guys turn it on, you just need to fix it. If it's on an angle, the surfer will only go on in, into that direction. So you can do it a couple of ways. Grab your controller, and you'll see here, guys, it will just say steering, trim, top right hand dial. You can adjust it, left or right. Just pretty much make it as straight as possible. Let it go. Now, when you steer, you should get 50% that way. Let go and you'll get 50% that way. Now, if it's not straight and if it's not getting 50-50 lock either way, what we need you to do, flip the board back around. This part here, circle piece, just get a flathead, pop it up. You have your servo horn. What we need you to do is, we need you to unscrew this, pop it up, Grab your controller again, the steering trim, the arrow, point it to the big bubble. Then, grab your servo horn again, just line it up, push it down, and then tighten, tighten back the screw up. And that way, when you flip it back over, you'll get your full lock, 50-50. Welcome back guys. So, I was just uh, reading the Kaisho instructions, as I do. So, if you go to page 23, operating tips number eight. Let me just put my specs on. Getting old in my old age. Now, tip number eight, quote, if the board stops far away, Use any tool, like fishing tackle, to retrieve the board. So basically, they're telling you, if the board gets stuck out in the surf, make sure you have your fishing rod with you, <laughs> and try to wheel it in. Bugger that. <laughs> Luckily we didn't have that problem. Unfortunately, these blokes did. Enjoy. Damn! 
<laughs> got him! That's a, that's a million views. I hope this camera lasts. All right, let's get it, sushi bar. Hey, shit. <laughs>